Hey guys, it's Rick here from Block Chrome, and today I'm going to be showing you something really awesome. And it's how to make a working TNT cannon in Minecraft. Now, there are quite a few ways out there of doing this, but I'm going to show you what I think is probably the easiest way. And I find it really useful on my um, PvP base on my server. And uh, we've surrounded our PvP base with them, and it looks really cool. And it's a great way of defending from people. When we test it out, we hit the person before the TNT even exploded, and it exploded on them. So it's a very good defense. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you how to make it. So we're going around here to get away from those slimes and target this house. So uh, what we're going to need is some standard blocks. So you're going to need something to build with. Let's use stone. Uh, you're going to need some redstone, obviously. Always need redstone for these sort of contraptions. You're going to need redstone repeaters. Uh, you're not going to need redstone torch. You're going to need a lever. You're going to need TNT, obviously. You're going to need a pressure plate. You are going to... No, sorry, we are not going to need a lever. We are going to need a button. Sorry about that, guys. We are going to need a... Bench, wherever that is. Decoration, of course. And uh, we are also going to need a bucket of water, and that is it. So this is how we're going to do it. We are going to dig a hole. Make it reasonably long for now. That should do. And we're going to go down here, dig a hole here. We're going to take our fence. So this is what we've got so far. We're going to take our fence and put it down there. We are next going to put this pressure plate on top of the fence. And once you've done that, we're going back over here and taking our water bucket. Placing water like that, take it onto the end. Taking your building material, placing one block there, one over there, break that one so the water supply is now covered. You are going to now make a redstone trail. I can get select the redstone. All the way down the side. And we're going to put it round the back here like that. Just across the back there like that. And remember to leave the gap there. And the reason for that is the button. Now they join up and as you can see our redstone works. So we're going to take our repeaters and put them down this side. So start there, there there, all the way down to the end, and set them all to the longest setting. Like so. Here, we are going to put a block, and on this side, we are going to take our fence. Might as well take your pressure plate, seeing as we don't need it. We're going to find our half slabs, so I'm going to use stone, yeah, go on. We are just going to make our upper half slab, like so. This is in 1.3, so we can now make upper half slabs. And uh, we are going to load up the cannon, because it is now officially ready to fire. So, uh, let me explain to you how this works. This here is uh, the redstone repeaters are the fuse that will time how long it takes to make the bomb explode uh, this redstone is basically the lighter in a way and then we need the TNT so this TNT I place in there is the bullet or the bomb let's call it the bomb now the TNT I place in this water like so but don't Break your source, just put it there so the water will still flow out if I break that. The TNT we put like that is the charge. Now, this redstone sets off the charge, and that redstone sets off the repeaters. And obviously, the signal is going to take longer to travel down the repeaters than it's going to take to travel down the redstone. So, as these explode, the charge explodes, the bomb will only have just started blinking. So, as you can see, let's set it off. Last thing to do that I nearly forgot, it's always best to make a little launch area, just so it doesn't get stuck in the ground and 
backfire onto you very badly, and then you're really screwed. Ah, dice line. Right, okay. And for those of you who are wondering, this TNT won't damage us because the water flow will uh, stop the detonation. It will extinguish it. So let's detonate it. As you can see, that fired successfully into the roof of this house. And we're going to load it up and do it again for demonstration purposes. Now the slimes are out of the way. So we load up the charge and the bullet. We detonate, send the signal all the way around, down the repeaters. So that starts blinking, boom. TNT flows over here and boom, it's blown up. So that's how it works, basically. Now there are a few ways you can adjust this. You're always going to have the bullet in. One way of adjusting it is putting a shorter charge so it won't go as far. But always put it at this end, not that end, otherwise you're going to have no effect. So if we detonate it, this one isn't going to go as far. As you can see, didn't make it to the roof. And another thing you can like play around with is the length of the fuse. Uh, if we make it really short, it's going to explode. The bomb is going to explode in midair. So watch. As you can see, that signal's already gone down. And watch this. It didn't even land. See how quickly that exploded? And that is how you make your um, working TNT cannon. Right then, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And you're going to go use those TNT cannons on your PvP4 or whatever else you want to use them with. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. As you can see over here, when I was uh, messing around, right before launch, a cow, like this little chappy over here. Yeah, I think the actual cow is now dead, but um, decided to walk in front of the cannon just as it was firing, and it was all very, very messy, but all I know is we got a lot of leather and XP from it, so uh, <laughs> yeah. That is how you make your TNT cannon. Uh, we're going to be bringing you a lot more Minecraft videos very soon, so if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and like and favourite and comment below. And thank you guys, and we'll see you again soon on Blockchrome. Bye for now.